This week we continue our look at marketing funnels and how they help lead your prospects through the questions they have. Welcome to the Marketing Lab and welcome to the Chambers Quick Tip. You're watching the Chambers Quick Tip. And now here's your host, Brian Rossman. So last week we introduced the formula for marketing funnels. And this week, let's look at the five questions every prospect has when they're introduced to your business for the first time. And then let's take a look at a real life example to see how it works in action. Whenever a new prospect is introduced to your business, there are five questions that you have to answer for them. And if you do, then you will generate a new lead every single time. The first question is, who are you? And, and this is really your opportunity to have them meet you and get a good feel for whether or not that they want to work with you. The second question is, what can you do for me? And, and this really boils down to a, a value proposition statement on how you can help them solve a problem that they might be facing. The third question that a prospect has when they're introduced to your business is, what have you done for other people like me? And this is really where you get to let your client's success stories do the heavy lifting for you by building your credibility with your prospects by sharing real life people that you have helped who are similar to them. The fourth question is why should I act now? And, and this is the second most important part of any marketing funnel is creating a sense of urgency. Be sure to constantly offer some sort of incentive or free download because incentive drives lead generation and action by prospects. And finally, the most important question, number five, is what is my next step? I can't tell you how many times I've seen a marketing piece or advertisement that doesn't give a clear call to action other than a phone number or maybe a website address. If, if that is all that you're including in your marketing pieces, then, then you might as well be throwing money out the window. You have to offer a clear call to action. So let's take a quick look at one of these in action with the five questions. So here we have a realtor's marketing funnel and he answers the first question, who are you, with a great intro video. And he, he also uses that video to answer the second question of what can you do for me. He has his value proposition right over here on the right with his ultimate goal to take the mystery and stress out of the home buying and selling experience. He answers the third question, what have you done for other people like me, with two fantastic client success story videos followed by some impressive stats that show his experience and credibility as an agent, followed by some featured vendors he recommends, and quick link call to actions like searching homes, getting directions to his office, following him on Facebook, filling in a form to contact him, etc. So as you can see, it doesn't have to be super fancy. You can really just use one web page to accomplish everything you want with lead generation and marketing funnels. Until next week, thanks for watching the Chambers Quick Tip.